In order to reveal the dynamics of monetization reversal, we use the principle of polarization microscope. Let's take two polarizers, a source of light and a camera as a detector of light. According to the Malus law, the intensity of light that passes through these two polarizers will change upon the rotation of one of these polarizers around its axis. After passing through the first polarizer, light from the source will become linearly polarized along a specific direction called the axis of the polarizer. If the intensity of the polarized light after the first polarizer is I0, the intensity of light after the second polarizer will depend on the angle between the axis of the first and the second polarizer. Imagine that now, between these two polarizers, we put a magnetic film. The film consists of two magnetic domains. A half of the sample has the magnetization up and another half has the magnetization down. Due to the magneto-optical Faraday effect, up and down magnetic domains will rotate polarization of light over the angle alpha f clock and anti-clockwise, respectively. The Malus law for the intensity of light after the second polarizer will now obtain a slightly different form. If the light passes through the up domain, the intensity will be different from the case when the light passes through the down domain. We can always rotate one of the polarizers such that the intensity after the second polarizer becomes zero. The camera will thus visualize up and down domains as dark and bright areas, respectively. To measure the dynamics of the laser-induced magnetization reversal, we use a pump and prop technique. Imagine that the light source produces a flash, which is as short as 100 femtoseconds. With the help of a glass plate, we split the flash into two parts, with a ratio approximately 95 to 5%. The most intense flash will be used as a pump, the less intense flash is the prop. Pump and prop pulses follow different paths before they get focused on the sample. By moving a couple of mirrors in the prop path, we can adjust the traveling time of the prop flash from the splitter to the sample and thus influence the time delay between the moments when the sample is heated by a pump and a prop, respectively. After passing through two polarizers and reaching the camera, the prop will produce an image of magnetic domains in the sample, at a given time delay, after the excitation with the pump pulse. If the pump pulse launches magnetization reversal, we will be able to trace its dynamics by making images of magnetic domains for various time delays between the pump and the prop pulses. In fact, the setup works as an ultra-fast photo camera.